Do you think the rising memory costs is going to lead to vendors making a bigger push for unified memory architecture on desktop PC, where we will start to see products for more enthusiast users as well? Hmm. Um, interesting question there, um, Alex. Uh, I think on the one hand, the rising memory costs affects products with the, uh, unified memory architecture. Um, but on the, on, on the flip side, I'm thinking of like Strix Halo, which also uses uh, unified memory. Yeah. Uh, I'm also thinking of like Steam Machine, which has more memory in aggregate than the PS5, but may have texture quality issues that the PS5 won't have. So yeah, it's a bit of a nuanced question. Yeah, nuanced in the aspect of we have UMA on PC in the aspect of there are devices that ship with a unified pool of memory on hardware, but the way it, Windows addresses it is not so, and the games aren't going to be addressing it that way. That's why in those on those boards or devices that do have a, a unified pool of memory, technically, you tend to allocate manually in some bio setting or somewhere else, like how much is dedicated to graphics and how much is not. Yeah. And because games on PC are not coded against that, and I'm pretty sure actually DirectX on PC uh, is not going to be <laughs> taking that into account. Direct storage, for example, still has the intermediate stage of sitting in system memory and then going out to your um, to your GPU's memory over the PCIe bus. It doesn't uh, just go directly there. That would be amazing for us, but that is not the case. Um, mm -hmm. Here in this case, I would say it will not do that right away. It would take a long time for direct. We've seen how long it takes for a direct X to change. I don't think this will be the way out of it, even though it technically would mean having to use less memory for the same thing. So, because what typically ends up happening is all those, all those textures that you have in memory uh, your GPU memory, that is, like, what, let's just say you've got four gigabytes of textures on an eight gigabyte GPU. Uh, they all are also mirrored up in system memory at that point, and maybe even in a larger or a smaller form, depending upon compression and everything like that, uh, and how much is uh, being buffered ahead for uh, frames in the future and uh, areas you may be going around the corner in soon and things like that. There could actually be a larger amount of stuff in that memory there. So you're using all this extra memory for stuff that is just about making sure that it gets across the PCIe bus faster. And if you did have a way that it was addressed like on consoles, then you would have less memory used overall. And then maybe you need to buy a PC with, uh, you know, less memory overall and potentially less cost to the consumer. But, you know, I don't know. I don't see a desktop push for this happening anytime soon because there isn't a, like a, a motherboard, pre-existent motherboard that exists that addresses this concern beyond stuff like, I don't know, uh, like taking laptop parts and throwing them into a desktop chassis. So I, I don't think it's very realistic at this point in time. I've got a couple of points. The uh, Ryzen APUs, you, c you can give them like X amount of gigabytes for um, frame buffer memory in it, and it can dynamically allocate more um, if it needs it. But at the same time, that isn't really a guarantee for developers who might require that system memory for the game, for example. You know, it, it can only dynamically allocate so far, I, I guess. Secondly, the other point I'd like to make is they still haven't cracked the notion of a, an upgradable system. Uh, with the unified memory architecture, apart from having more DRAM. Mm -hmm. But the point is the GPU doesn't have access to that. And if it does have access to that, it's got to access it via PCI Express, which is uh, suboptimal. optimal